So uh, when when the brain is developing in utero, um, uh, the ba that baby, whether the mother is eating a ketogenic diet or not, she can be eating a very high carbohydrate diet and not being ketosis herself. That growing baby is in ketosis hmm. on purpose because uh, that that it's very important for brain development to have to have ketones be fueling and and supplying not just the building blocks but also um, a clean, reliable source of energy for that process. Right. So. So we know that we are designed even before we're born to naturally be in ketosis, at least some of the time, right? So um, now we we are designed, we are we are we evolved to be what's called metabolically flexible. This is really important for the survival of our species. If you're survive, if you're surrounded by lots of potatoes, you better eat those potatoes. You know, if you're surrounded by you know uh, you know a fatty animal. A food. Uh, if you're surrounded by eggs, if you're surrounded by I don't know, a pig, uh, wild boars, you better be able to eat those animals. So we we're designed to naturally switch back and forth uh, to make best use of whatever is available to us in our environment. It's not that burning carbohydrates is you know inherently dangerous. It's that we are designed to be able to make good use of whatever we have available to us. We're, we should have this metabolic flexibility. So the, a big difference between, um, uh, so, so you ask, so, so how easy it is to go into ketosis. Uh, babies and children, uh, young people go very easily into ketosis. Uh, all they have to do is just not eat for a little while. In fact, a lot of children, uh, just by going to sleep at night, 